Thank you very much. Thank you that they organized to invite me to speak here. It's a great pleasure speaking to this conference. And uh, I present two talks in a little bit different from my colleagues. Is I present two separate talks. <laughs> And the, but is the both as the subject of this conference. Okay. And the first is um, about T duality and the applications to transpose some geometric structures. And the second is about some uh, geometric structures in the um, in, in the homogeneous space also, but a kind of almost emission uh, structures. Okay, this is a joint work. The first is about T duality. It's a joint work with my colleagues, Viviana Del Barco and Leonardo Soriano. And they both are also in Campinas. And uh, just to start with the duality for the, the, the basic mathematical, physical mathematical basis for we follow here is about the, uh, this work for Bognet, Hannibal, Zima, Time, and the uh, duality for principal total balance. And this is a kind of, uh, the duality is a very powerful technique in string theory to relate to different uh, theories. And this is also called, this contest is a duality with the H plus. Is a, I, I will explain this in a second. Um, okay, this is, a, as I told you, duality with the H flux. And uh, just to recall this definition, we start with the two principal uh, torus bundle of the same base. And then I consider here the fiber product. And then we pick uh, two three forms, closed three forms, H and H check. And actually, we work with a pair, the total space, comma H, and this check, H check. Okay, fiber over the same base. Okay. And then here in the fiber product, we consider this uh, the pullback of this three forms by this uh, projection here. And uh, the definition of T duality we are using here is uh, the pair. The T duality is uh, involved a pair between the pair. Uh, e H and uh, E check, H check are T dual if the form here are, uh, is exact. Okay. This is F for uh, some torus invariant for form on this product fiber. Okay. Such uh, that is non-degenerate on the fibers. Okay. If you have some diagram like this, we will call it the space to do. And uh, sorry. The principal bundles are the principal T bundles? Uh, um, yes. Uh, the same. Yeah. The same. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, we are going to investigate this uh, T duality in the context uh, when the space E is a, a new manifold. Okay. And then the first question is uh, if we start with E a new manifold, is the T dual also a new manifold? And uh, can we describe the E check and the H check in some sense explicitly? Okay. So, if I'm given T and H, then is it true that the T do E check and H check are uniquely defined, or there may be several T tools of the given one? Oh, it's unique. It's unique, so it's determined by D and H. Uh, no, this, in general, it's not unique. Okay, but uh, in this situation, we will be. 
Okay, because it is a, okay. I, I, I will show you in a second. This is a constructive group. I construct this group. Okay. Okay, and uh, this is the first. The, the, the talk there's two parts. The first part is building this setup, and uh, the second part we give some application and generalize to two structures. Okay. And there are some uh, motivations or related works. And uh, the first uh, motivation is to start with a uh, discussion with, with Ludmil. And uh, he, he, he shared with me some ideas and then mainly related to this Abuza Yauru Katsakova laws. And uh, the guy, this, this far mathematician described your homological mirror symmetry for Kodale Thurston manifold. And uh, he proves. He, they do, sorry, that the, 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 the divided category of coherent shifts on T4 twisted by a jerk will be equivalent to the Kukaya category of Kodai Thurston. Okay. And uh, would you like to give some sense, maybe some differential geometric interpretation of this fact? And um, um, okay, just to mention, Kodai Thurston manifold is an example of uh, symplectic and complex, but it's not carry. And it is also, a, the, uh, the manifold is also a new manifold. We have a um, little bit more recent, Lao saying, Yao, this is no Keller SYZ mirror symmetry. This is another kind of T duality, but not uh, involved the H flux, but involved this SUN structure. This is uh, also very interesting. And then, um, at form, just to mention, this is a related work, but it is not uh, uh, quite uh, the same. But is uh, Clayton, Lore, and Poon have some algebraic contest of weak, weakly mirror symmetry. For new potent Leo algebra. This is a symmetry between this equivalence into DJ uh, algebra involve this new potential Leo algebra. Okay. And uh, just to recall, we start with E is a compact homogeneous uh, manifold. Is a G is a connected, simply connected new potent Lie group in the you pick gamma and a discrete subgroup. And then we consider invariant geometry only. We consider left, left invariant is, uh, vector fields. And the left invariant is uh, differential forms. And uh, um, we have this equivalent. Uh, in, in the, we work in the left invariant symplectic forms, complex structures, invariant tensors only. And then we, uh, we are working actually in the Lie algebra level. Okay. And some basic factors on new manifold. Uh, the new potential group G admits a lattice if and, the, if and the only if the Lie algebra admits a base for uh, the structure constants are rational. This is a, uh, I can give some spoiler. We are making some two duality at the infinitesimal level. I work in, of course, in the Lie, Lie algebra level, but uh, I would like to integrate this to the new potential group. But uh, we have some rationality issues here, but uh, just for to mention in the future. And uh, that is a very well known nomism theorem. And uh, this map here, the star. I don't know if you look a bit cool here. Uh, this induces mesomorphism in homology. And uh, I can choose a closed invariant form the cohomologous to the invariant. And you speak it's some representative in each cohomology class. And uh, they have it uh, not a structure of Todos bundle. You take, take the eta a central subgroup, and then we have some uh, principal torus bundle. 
over uh, this quotient here. And the, the only Kähler new manifolds are the torus. But uh, this is a, they admit symplectic, complectic, and the generalized complex structure, depending. In this case, it's a very rich, rich space to apply some examples or counterexamples. And uh, the problem is uh, letting E a new manifold, and uh, we consider this torus bundle over a new manifold M. And uh, we pick now, now an invariant uh, closer to three form, uh, such that this condition holds for X and Y in the center, in the center. And uh, H assumes uh, rational values on the rational basis. Okay. Uh, this condition here is uh, just to guarantee the invariance in the fiber. The, the A is the center of the tangent space of the fiber. And uh, would you like to fill this diagram here? Okay. We start with a new manifold over the base. What is this space here? Um, okay, and then the, our first uh, uh, result is, in fact, this duo, this T duo, will be in a new manifold house. Okay, just to, this is a very well known result, but the, the proof it gives some ingredients to building our construction, but uh, a compact uh, manifold is a new manifold, if and only if it is a total bundle, it's a total bundle over a new manifold. This is like a power of bundles. It disappears, for instance, in the work of Salomon, is very, you know, implicitly, but uh, uh, this is uh, just giving an idea of the proof. Okay. We start with the Todd's bar with fiber Tn and the uh, and the base in the omega the connection form. Okay. Then uh, we have this d omega is a pullback of this capital omega. And uh, capital psi is an invariant in n homologous to these two forms. Now we consider this. Uh, and here we, uh, we consider G to be the central station of N by capital psi. Okay, this uh, model here is the following. If I start with the tallest bundle, I take the two connection to uh, the, the curvature to four. Okay, and then you build it in a central station of the base by the two form. Okay, this will give the Lie algebra of the total space. Okay, and the, if G is simply connected uh, uh, with corresponding Lie algebra G, okay, we have the same dimension, and uh, we have the, this, this bundle. Okay, so this is a quite important, actually. This is a, because if you start with it in Taldos bundle, we can precisely describe the Lie algebra of total space. Okay, recall, this is the central station of the curvature to form on the by the base. Okay, and uh, on the other side, if we start with a new manifold, taking a central subgroup and take this central station, by this form, okay? And then we can build it again, our bundle. And then in this case, we take explicitly the, which is the two curvature form, okay? And uh, in particular, this gives uh, the to do will be a, a new manifold and more, we, we, uh, we can, uh, describe it precisely uh, how this new manifold is, is built. Okay. And uh, 
if we start with this, this new manifold in the H in a invariant form, and uh, if you combine the result with the ideas of Bognet, Hannibal, and Matai, it is possible to construct the T dual in the following. We, the dual will be the central station of uh, N. And uh, this form, uh, Xi and et, Eta, are one form on the base. Okay. And uh, just to pick some uh, very uh, puzzle example, uh, this is, um, this notation here just means um, the bracket between the we take the six dimensional the algebra, okay. And uh, for instance, this one two means the bracket between e one and e two is the, the fourth position here. Okay. In this all. And uh, we pick here this uh, two elements in the, the center to be the fiber, do we have T2 bundle? Okay, the fiber is spanned by here. And uh, we can, in this case, we have this, uh, the Lie algebra is a central station, but this form, the, this, this is the, the curve to, to form. Okay, and uh, with this data, we can build in the dual Lie algebra, new potential Lie algebra, and also the dual three form. And then have this corresponding space. And then in this case, we don't have a, a base component. And uh, if you look at the paper of the Bognet, Hannibal, and Matai, this is a, a precisely the philosophy of the, the T duality. Okay? Because in T duality, we have the, the tallest bundle and we have the three four. And uh, in the one side, we pick the curvature of the bundle and the three form. And the T duality will interchange these two ingredients. The curvature two form will contribute with the three form in the dual. And uh, the three form will contribute with the curvature of the dual one. And this is what happens. Precisely here. This is an algorithm. Okay, given a new potential algebra can build. If you if you give me a new potential algebra in a three form, I can write down precisely what is the dual in this case. Okay, and uh, if you contract this three form by another. Uh, elements of the base is, is rational in for an appropriate base of the the algebra G. Then there exists in a lattice, the dual lattice, in the dual new potential, such that this pair is the dual to the initial one. Okay, but now we need some uh, rationality condition here. For the integrate the the, the lattice, okay. And uh, if we start with h is zero, then uh, we have a, a very nice description of the dual the group. Uh, in particular, that if you start with a uh, new potent two step. Uh, the group and the, the fiber it's contained in the commutator in the center of G, the duo will be a torus and the H check is non trivial and vice versa. This is um, actually, this is a, a very useful. We have some. Uh, Uh, 
and a new book of the statement. This is the dual through some PN. We can pick up not the Ah, sorry. This character is the new button two step, two step new button to the other one, which is the obvious. This is the rule to uh, some dimension, but this is the whole uh, recent dominance. This is Jake, it's a ever dimension. This is the okay. But what is this age uh, measurement at the the curve? This is the this is the plus bar. We have some curve. This will contribute to this. This is not flat, but this is flat, and the curvature here will contribute to this. Okay, we have some uh, you know, people call this chart. It looks. It is a two form the related to the curvature. It is a three form. The two dual, the two dual we will work interchangeably. Okay. The charge will contribute to the flux. Check. And the flux will contribute to the charge. Check. So long as I have still have a radial bundle. Yeah, but it's, this is okay. So topological activity. Yeah, see what logic. Yeah. And this apply uh, precisely to the, uh, the the case of codiator stone, new manifold. Okay, new manifold is a two step new potent. And we can write it out very precisely this prediction from the sorry, the theorem from. Yeah. And now, uh, just to recall some basic factors about to do, how to do to duality uh, apply in context of generalized complex geometry, but uh, just fix some notation because the afternoon we have some lectures about this. And uh, this is uh, based on the work of Cabo Canti Gaucheri to to duality in generalized complex geometry. And uh, we fix an even dimensional manifold, H a closed three form, and consider the double tangent space. And uh, we have some uh, pairing here and a Kuhan bracket or Dorfman bracket. And then uh, generalize. Uh, Almost complex structure is uh, the automorphism here, such that this square is minus one, and the uh, j is orthogonal with respect to this pair. And uh, we say this is integrable when the, the i eigenbundle is involutive under this twisted Kuhn bracket. Examples. If we start with an uh, almost complex structure on E, this induces naturally in a generalized almost complex structure. Um, and it, in fact, if J is a comp a complex, it, then this guy is uh, integrable also, at least when H is zero, but do you have some uh, integrability for H different from zero? And then, if omega is a non-degenerate two form, this is also a generalized complex structure. But this is integrable just if H is zero and the, the form is closed. And then you can uh, twist this generalized complex structure, but be few, but a two form. In following this way, we just, oops, just commute with this, and you can produce another generalized complex structure. 
And uh, the relation between the two duality and the generalized complex structure is proved by Cavalcanti and Gualtieri. We call this Cavalcanti Gualtieri map. If you start with the T dual space, uh, then the follow mapping here is uh, isomorphism of Kura algebra. But this is, um, what is this space? Just to, to mention, this is a TM invariant sections. Okay? In this case, we consider just uh, sections invariant by the total actions. And then uh, this uh, P1, two, Uh, we have the some pullback here for by P1 and push forward for P2. But in general, pullback is fine, is well well defined, but push forward is not well defined. And you need to put this correction by the two form here. Okay, this is the idea. And uh, in particular, if you have uh, to do a space, you can transpose um, generalized structures from one side to another, but just uh, commuting, uh, but this uh, conjugation by the powerful quantity ball cherry map. Okay. And uh, for instance, if you have some simple, uh, structure on this space, T invariant symplectic structure with Lagrangian fiber, then the, the, uh, after you mix it, the, this process here, we arrive in some complex type of structure on the opposite and the dual side. Okay. And uh, in our setup to work on new manifold, uh, we uh, describe this in this context and uh, in this invariant uh, setup, the generalized complex structure constant type. And uh, we fix the pair of the dual new manifold. And uh, when you can fix the base, we can describe it precisely this application file, just writing them some blockers here. And uh, the following, just for application, we have some uh, for the cover quantum Gaultier map, send the uh, invariant symplectic structure on the Kodaya Thurston manifold to some uh, big complex structure on the torus. And the, these structures are integrable with respect to this twist. Okay, and then we have some uh, just computations here, but the key point here is uh, the symplectic structure on Kodaya Thurston as described by Gabriel Ovando and gave some parametrization. And then we can compute explicitly this map. And uh, on two step in Newpotent, within the some Iberian ideal. We have some uh, omega symplectic with Lagrangian abelian subalgebra, and we have dual to uh, some comp some generalized complex structure with real fibers. And uh, just in a, another application, and the. The case of the two step new potent. You have a new potent and the torus. 
This is two step. But this is the beginning. This is very simple. Okay. But uh, uh, for instance, uh, describe the uh, simplex distribution. Okay, this is not so easy, but uh, we can parameterize some families. How can I do? You just put some h, no zero, and then we are right here, zero. And if we start with some complex structure twisted by this h, by duality, you will arrive in simplex structure. But this is uh, original symplectic structure. And uh, this is an equation that solves this. Uh, if we take the three form with respect to this, this is a, the, the, the integrability condition, but just explicitly write it out in this context. And if you have some uh, this three form, you parameterize um, symplectic forms on the new potent two step. Okay. Just an example, so if you take the, the, the six dimensional torus and take uh, this uh, canonical complex structure and uh, take this two parameter family of three form. And uh, okay, we can check that for uh, any S in T, this. Uh, the, the generalized complex structure induced by this C form will be integrable. And uh, we can, uh, uh, in this case, uh, produce the dual. This is means A1 wedge A4, A2 wedge A5, and so on. And uh, the dual will be. Um, New potent two step new potent uh, Lie, Lie algebra with this Lie bracket, and uh, we have this two parameter family of uh, symplectic forms. Okay, this is how to just, just an application you can use a um, twisted complex structure to produce symplectic structure in the to do. Okay. And uh, just to remark to coisotropic brains under T duality as studied by Katsarpo in Sodium. That's a very nice paper to this subject. Okay, now let's move to the second part and just make some quick review on G2 structure and then generalize G2 structure and then how to apply this to the machinery to T duality. Okay, just this is just uh, um, just to fix notation. That is uh, just definition of the two structure. We start with the vector space N seven. Um, this uh, dx ij. This means this wedge product, and uh, we define the metric g naught and the three form phi naught and the four form star. Find not by this expression. And the, the subgroup preserving this three form is, uh, is, is the exceptional group in G2. This group also preserves the metrica and the, the star, and they preserve also the orientation. It is a complex, same simple 14 dimension only group. It's a so, so the group of SL set. Okay, and the, the G2 structure on a seven manifold is a principal subbundle so of the friend bundle of M with structure group G2. Okay, and uh, each uh, G2 structure gives rise a three form and a metric such that every tangent space of M admitted an isomorphism with F, F, R solvent, identifying phi, G, and P naught, in phi, with phi naught and G naught. Okay. And then we abuse the notation, you refer just to the G structure as phi. Okay. 
and that is a children is a very well known. If we start with the seven manifold and phi a G2 structure, and the G, the corresponding metric, then the following are equivalent. The holonomy of the metric is in G2, and phi is inducedly to form. And nabla phi is zero, nabla is parallel, phi is parallel with respect to this levi civita connection. And uh, the tree form uh, phi is closed in, in Coclu. Now we move to generalize G2 structure. This was introduced by Wichi, with intention of this uh, generalize the classical concept of G2 structure. There is a further de development by Fino and Tomasini. There is a lot of examples and Maybe there's lots of questions in the, the Fino and Tomasini provide a lot of examples and the very nice situations. Actually, this is a motivation for this paper was a motivation for investigating this part. And uh, the generalized G2 structure on a seven-dimensional manifold is a reduction to a structure group to, of the vector bundle, the double to G2 times G2. Okay, this is a very analogous to the usual one. And that this reduction and also determined in a generalized metric, a two form, and that this split this double bundle in submodules with positive and negative definite metrics. And that is associated a pair of spinners in the reducible spin representation. Uh, Delta of spin seven, the reducible representation. And uh, the G2 cross G2 invariant tensor can be uh, considered as a differential form. So it induces uh, elements of even in or odd degree. And uh, up to be filled with transformation. We can describe these spinners very precisely. Okay, we have some uh, the even degree is a zero degree, four degree, six de uh, uh, four degree, uh, six degree, and the whole hat is it will be the spinners of the odd degree, degree one, degree three, degree five, and degree seven. Where uh, this alpha is a unit one form, phi is a three form, um, the usual three form of the G2 structure, and the uh, S and C corresponding to the sine and cosine angle between these two spinners. Some cases, this spinner are part of the two, or it depends on the situation. And uh, as an analogy of the G2 structure, we can define. Um, and put some names on the G2 structure. And uh, we call the generalized G2 structure strongly integrable with respect to the H if they are, they both are closed, but GH closed. Where this is a twisted operator. And the uh, G2 structure is weakly integrable. <coughs> of odd or even type if the following the G, the twisted differential of O hat is a multiple of O and respectively. And the uh, usual G2 structure determined by phi induce also generalized G2 structure. And then uh, in this case, the, the, this, this guy is coincide, and the, the S is zero, and the, we have the odd and even spinners are given by this uh, two relations. This is the zero degree and four degree. This is three degree and seven degree. This is what we for. And uh, when H is zero, 
the generalized structure is strongly integrable. This. Uh, if and the only if the usual G2 is parallel, that is phi is closed and equal to Okay, and then this when H is zero, okay, strongly integrable, you recover the 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 integrability of the G2 structure to be to be parallel. And uh, just some remarks, which show that the weak integrability of odd type cannot occur for usual G2 structures, independent of H. If we, we let H to be any closed tree form, the only compact strongly integrable generalized G2 structure are the usual integrable G2 structure. But if you relax this condition H not be closed, Fini Tomasino gave an example of compact, strongly integrable, generalized G2 structure. Um, I make analogy again, you call the generalized G2 structure. Uh, closed or closed if the spinners are closed, GH closed, but uh, we call to be closed if the D whole hat is zero and then co closed the other is closed. And in given a closed G2 structure, because for just to remember the there's a lot of specialists here, but uh, and the usual G2 structure, there is some adjective, some surnames like closed, co closed, parallel, near parallel, etc. And you can start with a closed usual G2 structure. And uh, we can consider the generalized G2 structure associated to this. And you can ask yourself if this is generalized closed. But uh, this happens. Just for for to form H such that this equation holds. On the other hand, if phi is co closed, the usual G2 is co closed, then the generalized structure is co closed on the, only for H is equal to zero. This is just in a computation here. And this hold if and only if H is zero. In this case, if you if you start with a G2, usual G2 closed structure, you can maybe can find the generalized closed G2 structure. But if you start with a generalized co-closed, you not uh, you cannot find just the usual. And uh, now we use the apply um, this two duality to try to build uh, examples or family of examples in the generalized uh, context. And uh, we we work in a seven dimensional Lie algebra and they take some three form such that this, uh, for some bases, the dual, uh, the, some, some base of the dual the algebra, the tree form is uh, written this way. And uh, we consider some uh, the algebras with uh, G2 structures and the non-trivial center. And uh, We call the, the, the dimension of this central ideal of the dimension of the fiber. And uh, because uh, this center will provide the fiber on the two duality. Okay. Uh, I will show just an example when with uh, one dimensional fiber, center is takes up just one direction in the center. But we also work in the more 
dimension, just a two dimension. Okay, one dimensional fiber. We start this, we decompose this uh, one dimensional uh, abelian subalgebra, and taking a generator and take a this orthogonal decomposition. And uh, we start with the phi, P, the digital structure. On the alpha is a dual element to the generator of the one dimensional fiber. And the phi we describe in this way. Uh, but this is the kind of the G2 structure coming from the, the, the called SU3 SU3 structure. Because we have one dimension and we have six dimension. The rest, the dimension six, and you put some uh, SUT structure on the six, the six dimension. And the, the, six, the, the SUT structure is a pair of in a two form and a three form. Okay, and the, actually, this is a real part of the whole, the complex volume form. Okay. And there are several examples of uh, G2 structure on seven dimensional Lie algebra come from this. Construction. And uh, for any closed tree form, we can apply this uh, T duality. And uh, we can explicitly recover this dual Lie algebra. Uh, we have some this bracket here. This bracket will be this, uh, the bracket on the six dimensional uh, part. And we have some uh, uh, another direction, direction Z will be this number, the contraction with these two vectors. And uh, we also have the explicit tree form when this part is tangent to the base, it's a basic part. And uh, we also have this two form is explicitly given by this two vector disappear in the construction. And uh, the spinners are related by this form. We have we arrive in the whole check and the whole hat check. And if you start with some generalized some generalized G2 in one side, we we after you have some all construction, we arriving in another generalized G2 structure in the other side. And that you can put, if you start with the SU3 structure in the one side, we have the precise expression for the, the two spinners in the other side. Okay. And then just to remark, the, the dual of the usual G2 structure is never a usual G2 structure, but uh, uh, generalized period not uh, comes from a generalizing G2 structure. And uh, just an application, we can um, provide a family of seven manifolds that admit generalized closed G2 structure but not admit closed digital structure. This is, uh, will be some uh, uh, non trivial example. And uh, we can use explicitly some, uh, we work in some concrete example. We start with seven dimensional Lie algebra. We have some disbreak dis relation. And uh, take the fiber in the direction of the E6. And uh, for this seven dimensional Lie algebra, as proved by Manero, there is a three form. This three form on this Lie algebra is closed, is a closed G2 structure. And uh, we can describe this SU3 structure explicitly in this way. We have all ingredients omega is a two form, and the C plus is a three form. Now, uh, how we proceed? Now, we impose that condition. This will be closed. 
but uh, we know that to be in order to be close um, this equation must hold okay and uh, we can ask for the solution of this equation are parameterized here okay that's it for each parameters we can produce the the duality the g2 the generalized g2 will be uh, closed okay but now we would like to produce na we can look because if i switch here we are switching the the curvature of the bundle, we have a lot of freedom. And now I can choose in a appropriate way how to make it. Because in this all plane, this is not deeper. In this time, all will be generalized to close. But I would like to produce the original manifold, no G2 close. And now um, we work. In these parameters, a1, a2, etc., in order to produce uh, a dual option. Okay. And uh, the dual the algebra, if you apply the two duality, we have this bracket relation. The notation just means the bracket between F1 and F7 is F3. This is just your notation. We have this two is fixed, but uh, in the, 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 the direction of the fiber, you have a lot of parameters here. Of course, for two different parameters, we have no isomorphic algebra. And now this happened. Now, uh, here's the trick. And uh, for instance, uh, for this three form here, we have this dual spinner, and then we can compute this is closed. Okay. Now, for the family comes from the, if you put this condition, A4 times A7 is zero, and then this uh, same cycle here in this parameter, for all the algebra non-isomorphic, we have this condition, and then any, uh, for any tree form, in this case, this cannot be admit any tree form close, the, the G2 close, but they admit uh, generalized close in the G2 structure. Okay, you have some real duality, you can have a lot of freedom here to produce some example. The last application is. Uh, we can um, cover some uh, Fino Tomasini example uh, of generalized structure. We can produce this via T duality. And uh, we start with the seven dimensional Lie algebra with this back. And uh, this uh, closed uh, G2 structure. Is uh, provided by Quanti Fernandes. These are the meeting of the close. And I consider the central ideal spanned by E7. And then we had some of this family of three, four here. And uh, for, and okay, this is a computation, but uh, we can do this is a. Uh, Twist DH hole is a closed. And we have a closed generalized G2 structure with respect to H. And we proceed the R before. We can take the dual Lie algebra. And this duality preserves the integrability. And this is also generalized closed. Okay. And this is uh, the, the example show that the this is a closed generalized G2 structure on the corresponding compact seven manifold 
that this comes from uh, SUT structure with some additional condition because uh, in this for uh, some condition there is no compact exam, but for this is a special class of SUT structure you can go through the quotient introduce the exam. But uh, okay, this is the philosophy. Maybe you can apply this for the another structures in another spaces. Okay, and uh, that is some proposal in, in progress, like to dualizing geometric flows and so on and so on. Okay, thank you.